The general named the conditions when NATO will send troops to Ukraine. NATO countries can send their troops to Ukraine if Russia has serious success at the front. This was stated in an interview with Oboz Revatel by Igor Romanenko, Lieutenant General, ex-Deputy Chief of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. Macron has already formulated these points. Kiev and Odessa, but other options are possible. For example, the exit of the Russian army to the city of Nipa. Now Russia is forming a grouping of two armies. This is a strategic level reserve. This is a very serious danger. If you use this reserve, you can exit in particular in Zaporozhi. And this may be exactly the breakthrough we are talking about, explained Romanenko. He also added that the Baltic countries and Poland should unite and make a joint decision. According to the Lieutenant General, in this case, NATO will not support the decision of these countries. In this case, NATO will probably take the following position. You yourself got involved in this and you can sort it out yourself. Why are such statements made in the Baltic countries and Poland? Because they understand that they will be next after Ukraine. From a military point of view, this is a rational approach. We need to be proactive, Romanenko added. Earlier, the German publication Der Spiegel noted that the authorities of the Baltic countries and Poland allow the entry of troops into Ukraine if the Russian occupiers achieve success. According to Newsweek, the idea of sending NATO troops into Ukraine is finding more and more supporters in Europe. Military expert and reserve colonel Petra Chernik believes that if sent, the troops of NATO member countries will not participate in direct hostilities. However, they can still help Ukraine's defense capabilities. NATO may take protection of the skies over Western Ukraine. Discussions continue. Build. NATO is discussing the possibility of protecting the skies over Western Ukraine. As the German publication Bild reports, citing sources, some NATO countries are ready to expand support for Kiev and act directly on the territory of Ukraine. Estonia, Great Britain, Poland, Canada, Lithuania and France are in favour of expanding assistance against the USA and Germany. According to the publication's sources, there are no final decisions yet, but discussions are ongoing on several areas. Education. The training of Ukrainian armed forces soldiers by NATO instructors on the territory of Ukraine is being discussed. The thoughts about whether hundreds of thousands of Ukrainians should fly around Europe for training or whether it is better to send several instructors to the west of Ukraine should not be discounted. It is more reasonable and economical to send instructors to Ukraine, said former head of the operational headquarters of the German Defense Ministry, Nico Lang. Logistics. A number of NATO countries, including Great Britain, Canada and Estonia, are ready in the future to deliver weapons and ammunition not only to the borders of Ukraine but also further to the front line. The concept of advanced logistics is currently being developed in several Western countries. Air defense. The protection of the airspace of Western Ukraine by NATO anti-aircraft systems is also discussed. The initiator of extended air defense is Poland but there is no final decision yet. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky said that Ukraine is critically short of air defense systems. Only a quarter of the needs have been met. According to the Wall Street Journal, the performance of Ukraine's air defense has worsened. Ukrainian soldiers have intercepted about 46% of enemy missiles over the past six months, up from 73% in the previous six months. NATO Secretary General in 2009 to 2014, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, said that the alliance countries should use air defense systems located in Eastern Europe to shoot down Russian missiles and drones aimed at Ukraine. Все, едем домой. Вроде все нормально.